as we have seen our in our previous modules that agitation system or agitator system consists upon a one part that is known as agitator consists upon motor regulator seal shaft and impeller but then other part that is not directly associated with this system but that is attached with the body vessel that is known as baffle so in this slide you can see the graphical representation of the baffle uh, you can see here that the baffles these are the small outgrowth inside the vessel so that basically help to create the turbulence in the fermentation medium while agitation is going on so that create the hindrance in the flow in a smooth flow because when there will be a smooth flow then there is a layering in the medium so in fermentation process layering is not required because when there will be a layering then there is a not equal environment inside the fermenter vessel so that the material that remain outside and that some material remain inside all the way so baffles help to give the equal chance of all kind of the media material and the organism to have the equal dist distribution over the fermenter vessel so what will be the maximum height of the baffle we have seen in our uh, uh, module when we are talking about the fermented design with the uh, um, multi impeller fermenters so that with the three models gave the ratio between the depth uh, uh, with the diameter and the uh, baffled height apart from the baffles and other systems in industrial scale fermenter when the body is made up of stainless steel then there is a there should be the provision to observe inside the fermenter so in a very large fermenter there are small glass openings or you can say that they are known as uh, uh, the uh, the screen or there is a small window by which we can see we can observe the process inside in some fermenter that have uh, the uh, assemblies with the light so when we switch on the light and then uh, we can see inside the fermenter so you can see in this slide uh, one worker working on in a fermenter that is visualizing inside the fermenter so this part of the fermenter is very critical because the glass that has to you that can uh, have the property to withstand the sterilization conditions as well as that have a very transparent so as i have talked about the Uh, seals and the o rings that is properly fixed on this uh, uh, we can see that the screen or the window so then other on a very large scale fermenter when the fermenter high is a very very significant then we can say that uh, we have to wash out we have to uh, clean the fermenter and sometimes a worker or a Mm, technicians sometimes that need to have a maintenance so in a large fermenter then the workers has to uh, go inside physically inside the fermenter just by opening a window of the fermenter and then go to the bottom of the in such cases then there is a need of the ladder you can see here the ladder so ladder sometimes are designed in such a way that have in a some fermenter that is only simple uh, ladder as uh, you have seen in a uh, different buildings either a small uh, 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 we have a ring but sometimes in a some fermenters baffles can be designed in a such a way that can be utilized as a ladder so just by mixing the ladder and the baffle we have a, a you see uh, two properties in a one shot so these are a uh, different uh, design requirement on a large scale fermenter as, as you have seen that ladder provision window provision 
and then baffle provisions along with the agitation system. So, for uh, as we have seen in our 13 basic principle of fermenter design, when we talk about uh, their maintenance provisions and their labor provisions and other provisions. So, very critical each and every step for designing the fermenter is very critical. So, in our later module, I will talk about in detail the agitation system because the whole agitation system because the main focus of the agitation system is the mixing. So, how the mixing or a good mixing can be achieved that is only possible when we have a suitable design of the impellers. So, we will talk about those impellers in detail in our later modules.